Hey, Cancer. Welcome to Live, Laugh, Love, Tear It. Today, we're delving into who's stalking your social media and why, okay? This can play out past, present, or future. Take it how it resonates if it resonates for you. It's a timeless reading, so when you're seeing it, that's when it's meant for you, okay? Uh, you can check out my playlist for additional collective reads. I have personals available, link down below in the description box. And as always, thank you for all of the likes, subscribes, tips, donations, bookings. It's all greatly appreciated. Okay, so the person that is stalking your social media, I just want to drop like my whole deck out of my hand. This person is very anxious, okay? They're anxious to give you something. I see a gift here, okay? I also see judication. This person could have been married at one moment in time and it's like they want to come forward and they want to gift you with this divorce, if that makes any sense. They're coming in as a mature masculine, Okay, this is somebody that's action oriented right now. Could be a male or a female, but they're in that yang energy, okay, where they're performing physical actions to get what it is that they want in their reality or to manifest what they want in their reality, okay? Yeah, mature male comes out again. So, this is somebody that could be a little bit older than you, okay? They definitely come off as well put together, well educated, okay? This person is coming forward to kind of love on you. That's what I'm seeing. It's like they've chosen you. This person is like in a real romantic energy light. What else? Yeah, this person wants some type of family life. Okay, it's coming in as that's my this house is not a home card. So this person could have been leaving someone kind of king of swords, queen of swords energy. They could have been left leaving a queen of swords energy, someone that um, they were with in a higher commitment, but they were distant from emotionally. Okay, so this person wants to come in and get love from you or they want to love on you. They want to gift you. Okay, message of concern and thief this person could have found out that the person they were um i heard engaged engaged pop right out okay so smash that like button if um this is someone that you know was engaged at one moment in time okay you just don't know like what happened with that look poverty there's an energy of like you know i have all the things that should make me happy but yet i still feel like i have nothing let me get one more for the person that's stalking Cancer's social media, please and thank you. Cancer's social media. Oh, privileged lady. This person wants to put you on a pedestal. You're definitely coming out as a feminine energy. You could be a woman or a man, okay? But this is that yin energy we talked about earlier, right? where you're this feminine that is receiving the things in your reality that you embody okay so the energies that you embody like trust um abundance um you know peace of mind things like that they bring things with that right okay what comes with peace of mind what comes with trust okay that's the feminine energy okay we all have duality within us duality without throughout the universe right um we have yin and yang within us. Everybody do, okay? Sometimes you're operating it, you know, sometimes you're operating on different energies, different times of your life, okay? But the bottom deck is marriage. I told you this person was like married or they were engaged. It's something like that. But courtship, this person wants to come in and court your ass and it may lead to marriage, okay? Or at least that's what they want, okay? Imprisonment, this person feels bound. They feel tied up, Um steady put in a routine to work go home work go home this person felt like they didn't have anything else um fulfilling them emotionally and they're feeling like it has to be a better way it has to be another way with that pathway energy okay so let's go ahead and throw some tarot on it okay look i'm gonna show you uh what just popped out fell on the floor hold on bear with me y'all what popped on the floor was queen of wands Okay, um, this person definitely was involved with someone else. See, Queen of Swords pops out. I can't make this shit up, can I? Queen of Swords energy and the devil. This was somebody that they felt tied to, bound to. Remember, we saw that imprisonment card. Okay, this person views you as Queen of Cups, though. Queen of Cups is likable, lovable, emotionally stable, can give love because they are embodiment of self-love, highly intuitive, like 
this person got their eye on you, okay? Page of Wands, and they want to come. They want to reach out. This person feels like they're just like you, right? You're just like them. With the lover's card here, this person wants to choose you. They've already chosen you. That's what I'm seeing, Cancer. With the devil card here, look, it's clear as fucking day, right? With the devil card here in the empty family room, this house is not a home. This person felt bound to a situation where they were not fulfilled emotionally, okay? What else? Here we have the fool card. Wanting to take a leap of faith, but look, that ladder is right up under them, okay? It's almost like a damn setup. And then we have this person in the back drinking a beer, watching it, okay? It's like watching this person's demise. It's like if they try to pull away from this Queen of Swords at one moment in time, then this Queen of Swords would um, try to set them up, you know, or want to get over on them, okay? Um, I'm also seeing that this person is afraid of someone uh, taking their money. They work very hard. They could have some type of financial constraint when it comes towards the person that they were dealing with, like the ex. Okay, with the magician card here, this person is trying to manifest you, the privileged lady, somebody that is worthy, okay, of that because you bring them happiness. You could be... Um, like have Leo in your chart. You could be like a Leo sun, cancer moon, smash that like button if that's you. Or this person could be a fire sign, sun, moon, or rising. But we have that five of swords energy here where this person is willing to compete. Okay. But at the same time, there is the energy of this person fighting with someone as well. This person wants to win at all costs to get out of this situation and move towards something that is better for them. With the Two of Pentacles, they could be juggling this back and forth, not knowing if they really got this in them, not really knowing how things will play out with the Seven of Pentacles here. It's like patience, planning, precision for this happiness, okay? So smash that like button if this is resonating for you thus far. Smash that like button if you're still trying to figure out who the fuck this is, okay? We'll delve deeper. Let's see. Okay, Eight of Pentacles. This person wants to consistently work with who? Queen of Cups. This is you, okay? You're coming in as Queen of Cups, balanced emotionally with the Tower card here. It's like some type of upheaval does happen because when this person comes in, it may shake up your world a little bit because they coming in hard, they coming in loving on you, you know, um shit you could have been involved with somebody else yeah with the four swords here you could be like trying to self-love yourself i'm hearing self-soothe so you could be like falling back from people relationships things like that with the queen of pentacles here you could be um like a parent uh you could be a feminine energy that um balances work um children home life you wear multiple hats smash that like button if that's you so it's like when this person comes in it like disrupt your shit a little bit because you're not expecting it with the moon card here lets me know that this is hidden from you okay but that's that cancer energy okay five of swords disagreement conflict all right that's what this person is coming from three of wands anticipating to take a leap of faith but thinking that um they may fail this person is they ready for whatever you know with a death card here i do see some type of transformation here could be dealing with a water sign could be dealing with a heavy scorpio energy okay what else here we have the Seven of Pentacles willing to work at this situation, okay? Willing to work um, to receive your blessings, to receive your hand, however you want to take that, okay? With the Five of Pentacles here, this person almost feels like you could slip out of their fingertips. That's why they're watching your ass. Page of Swords, they're studying you. They want to know more. I can't make this up. I pull one more. We have the Nine of Swords. This person is burdened by... Um, their past in a sense that they don't want to repeat that shit okay so this person is thinking long and hard about how they could seven of cups have more options in the happiness and emotionally fulfillment things um really in relationships okay this person wants to figure out how could they have more options um ace of wands new beginning with you how can they open up the doorway you know to create um this relationship, this dynamic, what they want, okay? This person is willing to fight for this. They're coming in as the wounded warrior. This person has been through a lot, 
but they are willing to fight for what it is that they want. Anything worth having is worth fighting for, right? Here we have Clear Vision Oracle Volume 1. This is available for purchase. Link down below in the description box. I want to thank you all who have purchased thus far. It's greatly appreciated. Let's go ahead and delve in. Okay, soft and cuddly, very comfortable. The person you're going towards is... Well, they could be a cross watcher of you. I was kind of getting that. Okay, Cancer. Um, this person wants to love on you. Okay, very comfortable home body. They want to put in the work. You know, what else? Spell work. Ooh, let's get some clarity on that. What's the spell work, Spirit? Protected angel blessings. So, uh, debt. I'm going to tell you a little something. And this may be a little tea for some of you all, okay? The person, remember how I was saying like Queen of Swords energy when we talked about how this masculine and their past feminine was a little separate. They weren't really fooling with each other, right? This past person um, is doing spell work on them to like, like this person is jaded or they just want to get like a leg up. It's something like that, like where this person um, just want to get back. Or something like that. And spirit is, if you're watching this and you're a cross watcher, okay, you're actually the person that's stalking cancer social media. I just want to let you know that you are protected, okay? Drunk actions and um, wild card nectar of life. So something may come up, okay, where this person, they deal with this ex one last time. This person is drunk, you know, not the person that's stalking your social media cancer, but the person that they are breaking it off with, okay? And they do something. Yeah, set your intention. This person is like, when you drunk, right, you're going to do everything that was on your mind to do, right? So this person going to spill the beans. They may say something. They may, you know, let, let it be known that they want to get back. Okay, they want to get at this person, like as in revenge. Okay, so they could be doing spell work to kind of fuck their money up, make them stagnant. You know, spirit is saying, take some time alone if you're watching this cross watcher. Okay, but for cancer, you watching this, the person that's stalking your social media, they're taking some time alone. Okay, they need to focus on some self love and they are protected inspiration new ideas okay this person is going to have a lot of different approaches once they pull back okay they're going to open the floodgates to their options or ways how they could approach you all right yeah clear vision seeing things for what they really are okay this person is facing truths why because they're isolated and stuck in their emotions all right so let's get some advice from spirit before I close out this read, here we have intuition. So there's that intuition for you, Cancer. It's booming, okay? So I wish you listened to it. It says you already know the answers you seek. So really delve into that intuition. Follow your intuition. Why? Because you've learned the spiritual lessons that need to be learned. You've had some mastery over following your intuition, okay? Over surrendering, surrendering you know? unavailable this person is unavailable to give you all you deserve you may have had encounter with this person before and you may have blocked them off because um they couldn't give you what you deserved or what you felt like you deserved um and not to say it like that you know what i'm trying to say you know but there's also an energy of you cutting off past energies whether it was this person or someone else and they because they couldn't give you what you deserve okay you're not out here settling for second best that's why this person know they gotta come right or don't come at all okay yeah because you have these boundaries so continue to have these boundaries cancer is a good thing okay firm boundaries are needed now i'm gonna pull one more we have marriage this relationship is moving towards a sacred union i'm gonna tell you right now through the door this person is gonna want to court you and they're going to want to marry you, okay? It's like they've chosen you. They feel like you're compatible and they want to have a relationship with you that leads to marriage, okay? Bottom deck is regret, okay? Someone feels remorse for the way they treated you. So smash that like button. If this is somebody, okay, you identified this person now, okay? And this is somebody that may have played you in the past and now they got played, but here they come, you know? 
but they have regret, okay? Try something you never done before. For those of you all that um, this is someone that you haven't dealt with in the past before. This is somebody that has was dealing with someone and they have regret over the way that they treated them. But this person has a new passion, okay? They want to pursue you. They want to pursue... Um, this dream of having a family, having this family dynamic that is emotionally fulfilling to them, okay? And they're about to do something that they never did before. They're about to come towards you, okay? Healing old wounds and childhood issues need revisiting. I feel like this is a um, all the way around thing. I feel like you've already mastered that spiritual lesson, but this person is shifting into that as well. We also have an, an addiction is affecting this relationship. It could have been codependency, yeah, to someone that they thought was a soulmate, okay? I feel like like you're almost reflecting this energy like you're mirroring this energy this could have you could have dealt with something similar as well so smash that like button if you did also so if this message resonated with you smash that like button and if you want to see more reads like this one smash that like button thanks for your love and support to this channel until then peace and love